it too. Because you gotta consultate. You gotta come through with the estimate and consultate. Ask the questions. What's going on with my yard? Where the weeds come from? The pre emergence, post emergence, consultate. <laughs> That's the intro to the to all our videos. No, it's not. Okay, you're mm -hmm. right. Didn't think about it that way. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you guys uh, 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 for joining us again. Uh, we are driving to another client's house and wanted to go ahead and ask some more questions to the CEO. I'm the CFO of Westline Care and. Um, what was the questions I was going to ask you? Uh, when you consultate, consultate. Got to put that estimate in, that pre-emergence, post-emergence, where the weeds go. Got to fertilize that yard, make sure that that Three, grass go. Got to eat it. Iteration. No. Oh. What are the, uh, oh, what are three things for people starting out, wanting to do lawn care? What are three must-haves in your opinion? You got to consultate, consultate, and consultate. So since that's the end of that. No, 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 <laughs> no. Uh, definitely, I don't care if it's a zero turn, a push more, a walk behind, or a stand on. You definitely need a lawnmower, obviously. Uh, a blower, of course. You got to blow that debris from the sidewalks and out of their driveways. And a weed eater, because you can edge, you can edge and weedy with that. I know some people may be saying, "Why? Well, what about the hedges? But at least if you want, if, if we're starting out with three things, I'd rather weedy and I'd rather weedy than edge than cut hedges. Yeah, yeah. See and where could they get these if they had like a limited amount to invest? Where could they get these things? You can still go to an actual professional grade supplier, commercial supplier, like a steel shop or tour shop, any one of those, because they still have residential grade product so even if you're starting out your new business and you can't you don't have everything that you need to get commercial grade products you can still get excellent residential grade products especially if you get a good brand Toro um, Steel um, Herskavana Skag yeah you can still get good residential entry relations but what if they client. can't what if they don't have you know two three thousand to drop on that where could they go then you can still go to like one of those like one of those um one of those retail stores you can still get a good push mower mm -hmm. you can still get a good push mower you can get um like a like my um well no that's two thousand dollars that push mower that's that. what i was saying yeah but you can still get like a like a regular 20 inch mower uh, for like $300. Yeah, you know I was, I was leading that, the question, but what I was trying to say was that Or if you, you don't want to go yeah. to, or, or if you don't want to go to that, well, I know Honda is good. Like a Honda twin, a twin blade mower. You can bag mulch. You can bag mulch and side discharge with those Hondas. Those Hondas are on point. Yeah. Yeah. And some um, spots like repair shops, you know, small engine repair shops, they have a section of clearance. Yeah, stuff. they do. The one I, the one we just left has a um a, a used used equipment or you can go that route too, go into different pawn shops and find used equipment, but only look for certain brands. Mm -hmm. Don't go in there and get a, a Craftsman blower or Craftsman's weed eater if you got to start out. Cuz that's exactly what I You do. No, no. You I, I, a weed eater, I think. I had a Craftsman weed eater because, that, because I was already using that for the home, yeah. and I used that for my business. So that's so that's my humble beginnings. And then even even one of the first lawns that I did in my in my um in my neighborhood, I had an electrical, I had an electric blower. Yeah. And I had, had to, to ask plug her. It up. I had to ask her to plug it up, and it took forever to blow off that driveway. But I mean you. As long as you're passionate about starting anything that you want to do in life, you're gonna look at what you have and be like, I can at least do what I, I can do something with this. You don't have to wait till you get the biggest thing because then you'll never know when you're gonna start. Yeah. But I started out with just 
uh, um, I already had an Echo a Echo hedge trimmer, um, and then I had the Craftsman weed eater, mm -hmm. and I had the um, the same thing we was using for our house. I had a Briggs and Stratton um, push mower and a leaf blower. You had got from the pawn shop or wherever the heck yeah. you had got it from. Yeah. And that was, a, you know, then I, then I eventually graded up. We got the Echo Blower. Yeah. And then we went and got the World Lawnmower, which is completely trash. If, if you see anything made by war, war Lawns, World Lawnmowers. Unless you're in, what city is that? that I don't care what city you in. The, the lawnmower is trash. Oh, oh the lawnmower itself. Yeah, okay. the lawnmower is trash. I thought trash. it was just hard to get it fixed. It is hard to get it fixed because the closest dealership from us is all the way out in Hawkinsville. Got it. And that's not... It, if it, you live in Hawkinsville, yeah, it, it, you can get a world lawnmower. Yeah, do that if you want to. Yeah. But I would stay away from them. Mm -hmm. I was just... I would stay away from them. I don't see nobody out here in their everyday life that got a world lawnmower. We saw lawnmower. one the other day. Well, bless their heart. We saw one the other day, a world lawnmower. I was like, I know how far you got to go. Yeah, that's just ridiculous. But, um, oh, the other question I was going to ask. How do you deal with pre-emergence difficult, difficult clientele? Clientele that's either, um, you know, uh, very anal about their property. Oh, you just wipe them. Yeah. Yeah, you just baby wipe. I'm yeah. Like, Here you go. But no, um, a lot of times what I do is uh, one thing that really helps is relying on my my corporate experience, learning how to irate members, irate clients, whatever the situation is. Find out what the issue is. Find out how can it be resolved, and if it can resolve, resolve it. And then you have to also know that there's sometimes just going to be issues that the client is not trying to get resolved. Yeah. It may just be something they want to bicker about. It may be something that they actually want to just fuss about something. So you're not going to solve every single problem that you have. And then, and then another thing, remember, you are the business. So at any given time, you can be the one that and have that power to say, you know what? I don't want to do business with this person. Yeah. So, and we've done that in some of our cases. We finished our monthly service with them, and then we said, hey, just wanna let you know, West Lawn Care is gonna go in a different direction, or we have to part ways for whatever the situation is. Because if I'm gonna have to come to your lawn and service your yard, I don't wanna deal with you as, as, as a person. I don't wanna deal with you as a client. Yes. And if you're not necessarily, because at the end of the day, we're still people. We still want to be respected. We still want yes. to be treated nicely. And yes. if I, and if we're not getting that from just a person aspect, yes. I don't care what we're, I don't care what we're charging you on on, on, on a month for to service your yard. Yes. Your 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 money is not worth no. you being you the being treatment. mistreated. It's yes. it's not worth it. So yes. we're gonna have to part ways. So just that. So there, there's just gonna be some things that you cannot resolve. But always listen to the client, see how you can resolve it, what's the best course of action, and hopefully it can be. But there are going to be those times where it's just not going to get resolved. I'm wishing. Did I answer the question? You did. Is that a hornet's nest? Is that a hornet's nest? Where? Right in that tree. Oh my goodness. Yes, it is. That thing is nice and papered. Ooh, yeah, no. get get some of that. Mm, yeah, see if you can turn the camera around. around and see if you can. Okay. Right there, it ain't hard to see. Ooh, ooh, no, nope, nope, nope. 